Well, there's still snow on the ground, but it is almost 50 degrees. In Wisconsin, we have a word for that. Spring! And I'm back inside. I was planning on doing my whole video from out there, but it was really windy and I didn't trust my audio, so we're here. Anyway, we're probably sick of talking about the weather at this point, so I'm going to talk about something else. This is the story of how I chose my major. So going into college, I was originally planning on being a music major. I wanted to do instrumental music. And then I found out that to do instrumental music at UW Lacrosse, you had to take four semesters of voice training for no particular reason. And I didn't want to sing, so that kind of ruined it for me. And I also thought about audio engineering, you know, going into a record recording studio kind of work. And I ended up deciding against that because the only person I ever met who had an audio engineering degree was a blacksmith, like an actual blacksmith. That was, that was his full-time job. He was a blacksmith, and he made things at a forge. When I met him, he mentioned being an audio engineer, and I asked him how he wound up being a blacksmith from that path, and he said that being an audio engineer major didn't really open any doors for him, and he wound up being a real-life apprentice to a real-life blacksmith, and that's what he does now. And, you know, he was, he was happy with it. He didn't have any complaints, but he said, you know, if it's not something you really want to do, you're not really willing to put tons of work into it, it's not a field you want to enter. And I wasn't that committed to it, so I took his advice, and I decided that I just wasn't going to do that. So then after floating around undecided for a while, I decided on computer science. I was good with technology, it was a good field to get into, and I just, just thought it seemed like the best idea. So I took a bunch of CS classes, and I was really bored in a lot of them. And at one point, I was sitting in class, and there were these two people behind me, and they were talking back and forth about sorting methods in Java programming. And they were like really excited about it, and they were going, going on like, oh, I would use a bubble sort there, what would you use? And I was like, I'm the least nerdy person in this room. And I'd, I'd never had that feeling before, and it was really strange. So the further I went in the path of computer science, the more I was realizing I was not as passionate about this as the people around me were, and the more I was realizing that I didn't really enjoy it all that much. Coding is something that I can do in bits and pieces, and I don't mind it that much, but it's not something I enjoy, especially when you get a blank screen and, and they say, okay, do this. And so I did finish with a computer science minor because I had completed enough courses, but at a certain point I realized that wasn't the field for me. But the event that actually made me into an English major I could trace back to one specific moment at a Halloween party at a friend's house. We were all talking about our majors and the things we liked and didn't like about them, and at the time I had started an IT job about a year before then, and I was thinking to myself that after a year of doing that and a year of being a, the computer science major and doing all this other stuff, I was really getting sick of computers. Like, I wasn't enjoying them at all the way that I'd used to. And at some point the conversation shifted to books, and we started having all these conversations about who some of our favorite authors were and favorite books and stuff like that. And I got to thinking that after a year of being really in-depth with computer science and with IT, I was really getting sick of computers, but after a lifetime of reading, I still wasn't getting sick of words. I definitely read a lot less in college and afterwards, and wrote a whole lot less in college and afterwards that wasn't for a thing, but it was something that I still wanted to do versus computer science had really just sort of made me realize that it wasn't something I wanted to do beyond a uh, you know, hobby. So then I became an English major, and when I took those classes, it was really clear that that was a really good fit for me, and that was the program I was much better off in, and I'm really glad that I did that, even though being an English major has not necessarily been as uh, lucrative as being a computer science major probably would have been. So I was all over the place in college. I also considered broadcasting for a little while, which has sort of led to my interest in YouTube videos, I guess. But anyway, that's how I got here. If you guys have any stories about choosing your major, I would be interested in hearing them, because I'm always interested in what sort of pushed people into the interests that they have and why they would major in one thing and not another or why they would work in one field when they majored in another. So if you have any stories like that, you should tell me because why not? That's what we're here for, right? Okay, that's all for me. Happy Pi Day, everybody. I'll see you later.